hello so this is a practice video or practice session where you are expected to make a robot like this this is made up of the cube object and you are expected to make it with using the grab and move and you will move all the objects by giving a number instead of just dragging it with your mouse or rather than using this particular tool so over here what we are going to do is let me show you the quad view of this fine you can see the quad view how it looks looking at this object you need to recreate it okay how it looks you can see the front side and top view of the object and you need to try to replicate this so you will pause the video over here or stop the video here and try to replicate this fine once you have done you can continue further ahead and see my demonstration on doing this Okay, so now I will demonstrate how to make this robot with the cube object. So let me come out of the quad view mode. And here we will start with one cube object. So to start working, there is a shortcut shift C, which takes the 3D cursor in the center. I have not talked about 3D cursor probably, but make sure you do a shift C and then shift A, you will get the mesh add menu okay so our cube is added now i will go to the front view i will start making it from the top and i will move this cube at this particular point now one thing to understand is over here that this cube is two by two two by two by two rather fine so the distance when it will move when you say move it by one it will move here this will move one unit here or you can say the movement is from center upwards or downwards or rightward so if I wanted my cube if you take this line and say move it by one cube will move here so how how much distance do we want to traverse is from this line one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's say grab this on Z by 15. Fine. So my cube is here. Now, to, I will just move this reference guy nearby for understanding. Fine. So here, this is moved. Now, if I look at the top view, is my cube correctly placed? Yes. Now, below this cube are four more cubes. Fine. So, let's go to the front view or using this itself, I will say Control c Control v grab on Y by 1. Grab on X by 1. So, now it is on this side. Now, I will take this cube, Control c Control v grab on X by minus 2. So, that it moves two units over here now we will take these two control c control v grab on y by two not two so it moves that side i want to move it below so i will escape it grab on y by minus two now the point is these quick cubes are merged so i will select these four cubes separately with shift select fine and i will say grab on z by minus 2 fine we should have done it from front side but okay so now this if i look at it four of them are there four more are there below this so since they are already selected with front view i'll say control c control v grab on z by minus 2 after this we notice that there is his neck okay neck and this is at the same location but we will have to move it by one two three four 
let's get back to this by one two three four so i'll select this guy control c control v grab on z by minus four so minus four it has not reached where it is so i think we will have to again do it grab on z by minus six okay so this is one two three four taking this edge i want to move it till here so this will be one two three four five six so i have moved it here since the location of this one and this was one same on x and y we can leave it after this what is there let us see after this there is these are six cubes and this neck is somewhere in between so what i will do is i will take these four cubes any of these four cubes first fine so let me take these four and control c control v grab on z by now one two three four minus four so it is here and here i want to move it slightly on this side because this cube is exactly below this so let us do one thing grab on x by 1 okay so this comes at the center now two more are required so we'll just select these two go to the front view control c control v grab on x by 2 because i want this line to be moved here so grab on grab on x by minus 2 fine okay so by this our neck shoulder whatever you want to say is ready now if we look at below shoulder we have one two three four four by two pieces and we have three by two pieces so why not just copy it first control c control v grab on z by minus two but this shoulder piece is having one more part and it is slightly one unit here and there so you can either recreate this or since it is selected i will first move it okay so grab on x by one or minus one whatever you want you can do that and now let us just take these two replicate them come back to front view control c control v grab on x by minus two so now i have my this section ready after this there is this hand that is to be created okay so first i will make these three units and for that we will need one of the objects one of the cubes so let us take this control c control v grab on x by sorry i have to move on this side so grab on x by minus two now if i go to top view it is to be moved this side and that will be one unit so grab on green line that is y by one so that sets it now i am just going to make it on this side so control c control v grab on x by minus two control c control v grab on x by minus two okay now we can simply move this whole unit this side or we can take one of these and get it or re repeat the same thing what we did onto this side fine so what should we do this is selected then i will move it by one two three four let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten units Control c Control v grab on x by ten units since the activity is about moving it without holding it with the mouse we will do it in this manner now move, copy again once twice so control c control v grab on x by 2 control c control v grab on x by 2 now we want to make the hand let us copy this control c control v grab on y by 2 but it is going on the other side so escape that it is already grabbed so again it's already selected sorry grab on y by minus 2 same here control c control v grab on y by minus 2 
so this hand part is done fine now the body part is repeated two times so let's go into the front view and we will select this what are the uh, four of these are in the body part we could have created it initially itself so just make sure these are selected from this side also control c control v grab on z by minus 2 control c control v grab on z by minus 2 the body part is done after body part what is there this base and this part is similar so what we will do is see this is first of all we'll select this now we will have to move it by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so let me copy this control c control v grab on z by minus 8 now it is here fine now what we need is to make the leg so let's do the leg part leg part if you notice there is a cube which is in between here so we can go to the side view but that will confuse me with this so let me just control do this control c control v grab on z by minus 2 and here we move it on x since we are using numeric values so it's not very necessary to be on this uh, ortho orthographic view so grab on y by 1 fine if you go to the side view you will notice uh, side view it is aligned properly fine and now what we will do is we will grab this and move it by 1 2 3 4 because it's already placed in where it is or one more thing i can do to make my life easier is 1 2 3 i'll make all these i'll make the whole leg and then i'll move the whole leg this side why not right so let's do this first leg Control C, Control V, grab on Z by minus 2. Control C, Control V, grab on Z by minus 2. And now what we have this leg, but it is slightly moved here. So Control C, Control V, grab on Z by minus 2. And now we will move it a bit slightly here. So grab on, no, first of all, copy. Control C, Control V, grab on X, no, not X, Y by 1 I think we copied it twice so there is an extra one so let's delete that extra one in fact I could have moved it anyways so again now what we will do is we will move it in X make two more copies control C control V grab on sorry Y by minus 2 control C control V grab on y by minus 2 so this leg part is complete so let's do a box select of this leg and with front view control c control v grab on x by how many times uh, let's see 1 2 so i want to move it till here right let's zoom it a bit 1 2 3 4 so can grab on x by minus 4 okay so here we have replicated our robot just by using the numeric ones and this is how you have to practice making this so you will notice that by using the numeric method of moving objects we can precisely place them so this robot and this robot are now exact replicas of each other Okay.